Today I want to talk about the top five reasons I love the Philippines and made it home for nearly a decade. Um, I want to point out that we're in Spain currently, but Sp uh, the Philippines will always be home. Number five is freedom. If you've come from the UK, um, you'll know that the UK tracks you everywhere possible. It's tracking you on stuff they shouldn't even be doing. The UK has been caught with um, GCHQ spying through people's Yahoo videos and stuff uh, with live chats. You've got the fact that your passport and your passport number is linked to your tax, it's linked to your driving license, it's linked to your car insurance. You're being watched 24-7. In the Philippines, if you're not bothering anybody, generally nobody's bothering you. So the freedom of the Philippines is an amazing thing that still exists. I would say there's complications if you're actually Filipino, but from a foreigner's point of view, it's a very free country. Generally people are very, very friendly. That's my number four on the list because you find it doesn't matter what people are doing, where they are, people are generally happy to see a foreigner. It's been to the point where people will quite happily get you involved in things you wouldn't normally do. Um, Airsoft, for example, we start playing Airsoft for the the team in England earlier, but also if you said, oh, I fancy going out on a little fishing boat, one of these little bankers, the, the, the little uh, super fast little boats they use for fishing, go, oh yeah, come on. Nobody seems to go, that's not safe, that which you would get in the UK, where everyone's health and safety mad and sucking their life out of everything. Yes, there's potential risks, but the common sense thing here is you make that decision yourself. But Everywhere you go, generally people are friendly. On top of that, they'll invite you to parties and quite happily have a beer or just invite me, to, invite you to whatever's going on. Friendly population, no grumbles there whatsoever. Wet or dry, you always feel happy. The Philippines opens up the fact that it has 12 hours of sunshine most days. But also you've got the fact even if it's raining, sitting on the porch and just watching the rain and the world going by is nice. Everything is nice whether the weather's bad or good. It's one of those things that we forget in the West. I find in the UK for example it's often very very grey. doesn't matter what day it is, even in the summer it can be a bit grey. Um, but in the Philippines you find that the weather's interesting, watching the lightning bouncing off the sea as it's coming in, seeing the heavy rain bouncing off the ground and the listening to the thundering roar of the um, rain drops hitting tin roofs. It's relaxing, it's a nice experience and when it's sunny it's really sunny and to the point you want to go and do something, you want to go out, you want to travel around, you want to experience the Philippines and everyone's generally happy because of the weather as well. It's one of those things that really make life worth living. Finding love in the Philippines is extremely easy, number two on our list because in the Philippines there's a lot of people looking for foreign partners. Um, it doesn't matter if you're from US, UK, New Zealand, Korea, Japan, there's a lot of interest in foreign partners. Not just for the guys looking for women, but also the women looking for guys. I have some friends that are Filipino that their wives are actually foreigners. Um, one of our neighbors, his wife is German, for example, she's not a German nurse. But the reality is, it's very easy to meet people. Why? Because you're in an environment that's a very friendly environment, you've got the beautiful weather, you've got the fact that the dense population mean that you meet more people, but people also interact more. So finding the right partner is a lot easier than you'll find in many other places. Number one for me on the list though is traditional family life. You will find that like with our community there must be about 200 relatives within a stone's throws uh, distance from aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, everybody's there. But also everybody's involved with each other. You'll, you'll find that the grandparents often look after the children if their parents are working. You often find that 
people spend more time together they they function as a group this is why often if you're going to a resort you might t- be taking 20 people because the family go it's not just a case of this little family unit it's the family the whole unit goes um, I like that about the Philippines I find in the UK the environment where I lived with my parents that it becomes very splintered my family are originally from Scotland we live in Worcester but most of my family has separated even from their original locations because work has sort of driven people away in different directions. I find in the Philippines though a lot of it is still retained. There is a lot of OFWs, you can't get away from that, it's about 10% of the population I believe. But the reality is that although they're away working, their home is where their heart is. That traditional family life is where they want everything to be pulled together and what they want to exist. This is why you will find the family help each other. If, for example, I'm an OFW and my sister's kids cannot afford their education, it'd be very common for me to fund her children's education. It may seem completely strange in the West, but these family units function as a unit. They're almost socialist in the way that things work as a unit everybody helps everyone if you're wealthier in the family you generally help to pull everybody up um, it's nice if everybody wants to put, be pulled up and not sit there though but at the end of the day the family unit still exists the same as you get the grandparents looked after within the family they're not sent off to a care home or a nursing home people look after their own and that's that's something that's really good a real solid foundation for family life and that's why it's my top number one reason that I love the Philippines. Thanks for watching.